is wisdom? What, what does this person do if he's wise? What can he do that other people can't? Any thoughts? Okay, well, in the Bible, there's a guy that was very wise, and his name was Solomon. You ever hear of King Solomon? No. All right, well, <laughs> he prayed one night when he was sleeping. God said, what shall I give you? And he, and he said, oh, Lord, you know what I really need is wisdom and understanding to govern such a great people, because I'm king over all your people here. And so God said, I'm very delighted you asked for wisdom. I'll give you wisdom, and guess what? More than you asked. I'll give you a long life and riches too. And so God gave him an understanding and discerning mind. And shortly after that, something happened in Jerusalem that showed his wisdom. Now this is kind of a scary story. You ready for a scary story? Yeah. Guess what happened? One night, or sorry, yeah, one night there were two women in the town that were living in the same house because they, were, they worked together in, in a very old profession. And... Um, and they both had babies uh, within about three days of each other. So they both, two women, have babies. Well, one night, one of the babies died. And the, and the other woman came, and she took the baby from the other woman and put it in hers, and she put her dead child with the other woman. So they, they, she switched. And when the other woman woke up in the morning, she saw that, the, that her child was dead. But then she says, oh, no, wait, this isn't mine, though. You switched them. And all of a sudden, this lady says, no, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Yes, you did. So they said, we have to take it to the king, to wise King Solomon, and we'll figure out what his decision will be. So it came to the king, and they went and told the king, they said, this, the live baby, says the woman who's holding it. And she says, um, this is my baby that's alive. But the other woman says that I switched him. And the other woman says, no, that is my baby. Because we both had children, and she lay on hers, and it died at night, and she switched the babies, that's my baby. And so they're both claiming that the live baby was theirs, and the dead one belonged to the other person. And so the king had to decide who the real mother was. How would you do that? Here's the baby. But they can't tell who it is yet because it's only a couple days old. How is King Solomon going to decide who the, who's, is the real mother? He has, what has he got? Wisdom. And he's going to find out who has the real mother's love. So you know what he says? He does something very scary. He says, all right, here's my judgment. Bring me a sword. And they brought a sword. And he says, all right, this woman says it's her baby. That woman says it's her baby. Here's what we'll do. We'll take the sword, we'll cut the baby in half and give half to this woman and half to the other. What does that sound? Does that sound terrible? Yeah. Well, guess what happens? The woman, who is the real mother, said, Oh no, my lord, no. Give it to the other woman. Save the child alive. Just give it to her. It's okay. And the other woman says, Ah, fine, good enough. Half will be yours and half will be mine. Good decision. Divide it. Cut it up. Yeah. You know what the king says? Ah, now I know who the real mother is. Give the baby to the woman who cried for its life. Because that is the real mother. And then so the baby was reunited with her real mommy. And she was very happy. And so King Solomon made the wise decision. Do you understand what wisdom is? Is when there is a situation where nobody can figure out or see the way to go. But wisdom is smart enough to say, oh, I find and I see the way to go and bring it to a right conclusion. You know what I'm saying? When I was up um, just the other day up in Jacksonville, I took Naomi and some of her friends to a, to a Christian concert up there. I was driving over to the, uh, to the concert afterwards and Jacksonville, believe me, they don't know how to put road signs up. And I got lost. And I'm all over the place and everything's dark. And all of a sudden, I'm driving through the hood, a place where it's very dangerous and scary looking. <laughs> oh, no, where do I go? But guess what I had? I had my phone, and I had GPS on it, which is also called God's positioning system or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I made a wrong turn, it would go, recomputing, recomputing, in 200 yards, turn right. <laughs> and guess what? I didn't know where I was going, but that GPS showed me how to get there, and very soon I was able to be reunited with my family and pick them up in the dark there after the concert. 
Well, wisdom is like that. It teaches us the way to go when you don't know how to find the way. Do you ever get confused in life? Or. You know what we need to do? We need to ask God, God, please give me wisdom. Say it. God, please give me wisdom. Say it. Not yet. Say it. Wisdom. God, please give me insight. Say it. insight. Give me understanding. Exactly. You know what he's going to do? Because he loves you? I'll put it into your mind. I'll put it into your thoughts. The way to go. And you'll be able to know where other people can't understand it. Isn't that great? And Solomon said in the Bible, wisdom is greater than weapons of war. Because if you use wisdom, you can beat the whole army just by understanding the way to go. All right, let's pray. God, we thank you for the wisdom of Solomon. We thank you for the greater wisdom of Jesus. And that you can put that wisdom into our own minds. Grant these children wisdom, understanding, insight in their lives. Knowledge that they might walk in the way of truth and see the way that their steps may be secure. Amen. All right, God bless you and happy birthday.